Oh, howdy folks, I'm Aaron and welcome to those joining me. Today's video we are building a pair to make one uh, events sailboard or backdrops coming up. Okay then folks, so as I just said, we are building a sailboard or um, backdrop, whatever the people call them. It's used in the events industry, as the name says, it's a backdrop, and then you just decorate it to your heart's content. So I've had an order for these, um, I've got a couple to build, uh, and I just thought I'd bring you along. The other event stuff I've done on the channel seems to have gone quite well view-wise. So I thought I'd bring you along for this. It really isn't anything special. So if you did want to have a go at this, minimal tools and anything that I do use can be substituted for hand tools. So where you'll see me using the nail gun, you could easily use uh, hammer and nails or you can buy nail guns very cheap these days anyway. Basically, a quick rundown of the materials um, and then we will get cracking with building. So we've got here now i've played a little crafty or lazy or smart i don't know which one it is but i've actually got the mdf pre-cut for me i'll just show you guys here so i've got some mdf mdf strips there now those mdf strips they are eight foot long uh, and i've had them cut at about 40 mil I say about 40 mil, I asked for 40 mil, that's not what I've got. Um, but they're about 40 mil wide uh, and I've got some more MDF boards, six foot by three foot. And I'm just going to plant those 40 mil strips on in a sort of hit and miss fashion. And once that's painted up, it should look pretty nice. I've got to do some flip out back stand so it stands up um, all on its own free will. And then, um, yeah, paint it and give the customer a shout to come and pick it up. And the best part, pay me. So I won't keep rambling on. I am going to get cracking um, and I will catch you later on in the video. All right, folks. Okay then folks, so what I've done here is, I know it looks a little bit like a castle, really fortress gate. They're oversized, so I can trim them with the track saw, no problem. Uh, I've cut some spacers, just some little strips of 9mm MDF to the desired width. And all of that just gets butted up. So this has been clamped on flush. So that, that's going to be the top. This will be the bottom. We're flush on this end. And then when you get round to this end, we've got an overhang on this one. So when this, because there's two boards, which is going to make a six foot, six foot by six foot panel, the next one is going to go under there. And this is going to hide that joint. It's going to be completely co collapsible, so it's not going to be a six foot by six foot panel in the end, or solid, it's going to be in two halves, but that's going to cover that joint. There'll be a spacer. This spacer will then go from here across, and then the next slat will start there. But it'll all make sense when it's built and up in position. You'll see exactly what I mean. So I am now going to get cracking with the glue and the brads move this panel out get the next one in we can get that set up hopefully it's roughly the same um and yeah on to the next bit painting the fun bit ish
these little sponging sanding blocks fit nice and snugly in there so it sands the two sides and the bottom in one obviously i knew that when i made these you know i plan for everything like that Okay then folks, so you've just seen that being sprayed now, I'm going to sand that back and give it another couple of coats, hopefully tonight, if it dries fast enough, and then I can leave it all night to fully cure. This is what I've come up with the legs, I call them, or supports, I suppose. Um, now the lady did want these upright, but after a few trial and error, there is no way... <coughs> No way you can get these completely 90 degrees. They're just, because they're so tall, six foot odd, they're just very top heavy. So they just they just want to go. A slightest breeze just wants to go. So I've took it upon myself. I've put these on a five degree pitch. That just, because they're six foot, it's not massive. Um, it just holds them back just a little bit just to give them some support and... For the clips wise, um, I've used these lift off clips. I'll put a link in the description if anybody is interested. They are pretty smart. Um, simple but handy smart little clips. So as I said, everything's everything's cut on five degree, five degree the bottom, timbers cut at a five degree, and obviously these are all mitered, glued, brad, and screwed. So yeah, I'll crack on and get these made. And then we will get a panel in and I'll show you exactly how we fit these clips or how I fit the clips. All right, and guys, let's crack on. Okay then folks, so what I've just done there is um, just transferred the slats position from the front to the back um, and then what I'm going to do is position the legs, this piece of timber is going to be in the centre to where the slats are not, um, that will go somewhere like that. <coughs> And then when I screw down, I'm going to be screwing into 18mm uh, material, in essence, rather than just 9mm. Just gives me a bit more purchase. So I've done that here, and I've done exactly the same on this side. See how that 5 degree on that board makes it all sit flat. So that's what you want, really. Full contact all the way. So, <laughs> okay then, so that's the four clips on per leg. That's in its obviously set position. Just give it a little, little taparoo and then they come off. I will label that. The other one was one, two, so, 
This is lovely lucky number three. And you just sort of push them in, give it a little tap, and she's in. There you go. Okay then folks, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna apologize now and hopefully I you, you don't feel like I've wasted your time. So basically this was a very, very rushed job. Um I think I said at the start of the video that time's not on my side with this one. And basically with me deciding to video this and put it on the channel last minute, typical me, I never got any finished shots. I know that I've just uh, just shown you how the legs are attached, but I wanted to show you them actually on the board stood up and I didn't get to do that either. It was very dark when I finished. All the excuses in the world can't justify cutting this video short, so I am really, really sorry. I do have, I had to beg the customer for a picture. She has sent one. Um, it's all tarted up with balloons and everything, so you can't really see the sailboards, but um, I think it's gonna be the thumbnail to this video, and it does look really good. Um, I think it's gonna be the thumbnail to this video but I'm gonna pop it up in a minute and I did manage to take one again it was late at night just to send to the client just to show them before they came because they all like that anyway I'll try and get some more if I can I will uh, message the client if I can pop them in on the video I most certainly will do but I just want to apologize obviously for people who have watched all the way through hoping to see the finished article and they haven't so without further ado i am going to wrap this one up and i do feel a bit silly asking but if anybody would like to support the channel they don't all end like this all the videos don't end like this i promise i do try and get some uh, money shots at the end but if anybody wants to support the channel would really greatly appreciate that uh, links down in the description to the old patreon um, and there's super thanks and membership and all that sort of jazz uh, so if you did want to go and have a look at those, that'd be brilliant. If you wouldn't mind giving the thumb, uh, the thumb. If you wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up, uh, and if you feel worthy, a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it there, folks. Love you and leave you. Thank you very much if you have stayed till this part in the video. I do really appreciate it. Stay safe in the workshop, guys and girls, and I will see you on the next one. See you later.